If you're looking to dockerize your soft serve Git server, it's really straightforward to do that. The first thing that we're gonna do is create a Docker file. The source Charm CLI soft serve official Docker image to make it a little bit more usable off the bat. I'm setting the soft serve initial admin keys environment variable, mapping that to whatever key I wanna be using that's on my host machine. In this case, I've just generated a brand new public key. We also set an entry point that's going to point to the soft binary. It's just running soft serve. That's how you would actually be running it in your server if you wanted to just run it outside of a Docker container, install the soft serve binary, run soft serve, and that starts up the process. You can also use system D if you do want to manage that process with system D. I will link some resources to get that started. In this video, I am specifically talking about dockerizing it. Let's move on. Another thing that you'll see in this file is that I'm clearing the cache when the container closes. And now from there, we're going to build an image from this Docker file using the Docker build command. In this case, I'm just giving it its own little name and providing it with a path to the Docker file to use. Now that we have an image, you can use the Docker run command. We do provide some additional flags. So we're going to name it. In this case, I name it soft-serve. You're also going to want to mount a volume to the Docker container. This is going to allow you to persist your data even if the Docker container is stopped. Another thing that you're going to want to do is expose the ports from the Docker container to the host machine. This you use with the publish flag. There's also the option to run restart unless stop. Basically, if the process shuts down for whatever reason, it will restart unless it's the user or administrator that has explicitly stopped that process. Actually, in the example that we have in the soft serve repo for dockerizing soft serve, we are using the official soft serve image. If you were to use that image, what you'll have to do is connect to the Docker container in interactive mode and then edit the config.yaml file to then add the administrator keys. In my case, it was a lot simpler for me to just set that in the Docker file and not have to worry about it, but totally up to you on what you prefer to do. Now, once you've started that container, you can now connect to the soft serve TUI with SSH, specify the port. You can specify which identity key you wanna use for that SSH connection. I would recommend using the one that you specified as an admin key. The easiest way to save this kind of configuration when you're connecting to your soft serve server is in your SSH config file. You can specify a host name, which is basically a nickname for that connection. In this case, I named it demo. Within that, it specifies that the host name is localhost. It specifies the port that I wanna use as the default port. I also specify an identity file, which is the path to my private key that pairs with the public key that's on the server. And then I also have identities only set to yes. One thing I would recommend doing, because it does simplify the kind of git pull push process, I found it simplest to make sure that the public URL field that you have in your soft serve configuration file matches the name that you have specified for host in your SSH config. Personally, I just found this the simplest because then when you're copying the commands to clone the repo, it's gonna use that nickname or host name that you've specified in your SSH config to connect. So it will be using the right SSH keys for that connection. Otherwise, you might find that you run into some permissions issues. Once your server is up and running and you have your admin keys all mapped out, you can start doing anything from creating new repos, managing these repos, get right into writing some code, pushing that to your soft serve server, and you can start managing different users. You can create a new user, you can add different public keys to that user profile and manage their access accordingly. All of that can be done through the CLI, which actually connects through the same port, which is awesome because then you aren't having to manage multiple SSH configurations for the uh, soft serve server connection. You are using the same port every single time, whether you're connecting to the TUI or the CLI. That is all the magic of Wish under the hood, which I'll link in the description as well. That is a library for building your own SSH servers. I hope that this was thorough enough to get you feeling comfortable working with soft 
serve and docker let me know if you have any feedback i'm always looking to make these videos more approachable for the average developer i want all of this terminal tooling to be a little less intimidating for most developers and make it a more welcoming space so if you find that the content reflects that please give it a like let me know in the comments and if you find that there's room for improvement also let me know that is something that's hard to kind of judge when it's your own work right so yeah Hopefully this gets you started or keeps you going on your self-hosting journey. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.